27, 28, 29. Tell her, you gesture number 30, Pen, you said the? Uh, four of spades. Four of spades. <laughs> that is the four of spades. <laughs> yes. Welcome back to my channel, Make Lab TV. In today's video, we're going to talk about Sigrid Tiber card trick, memorization trick, because he memorized so many deck of cards that it's almost impossible to do, right? Uh, let's talk about it. Let's try to figure out how he did that. It's for a magic education purpose and for entertainment purpose only. Now, let's see what he says about this trick at the beginning. 185 days of lockdown. Every day I shuffled and memorized a different deck of cards in a different order. They are all in my mind. <laughs> yes, they're all in his mind. See all of the decks behind? Well, they're all shuffled in a different order according to him. But we have no proof of that, right? Well, uh, he starts with asking Allison. Uh, to pick a card and I think she choose uh, Ace of Heart and then he knows exactly what day to go to and he actually find the deck that has the top card as Ace of Heart. Cards, lockdown day number 50 on this part card in the deck. See? And he finds the deck with the Ace of Heart on top which is very very impressive by the way. There is a trick to this, and we're going to talk about it. But the most important thing to know is there is some memorization. Okay, there is a part where it does actually memorize a lot of things. And there is a gymnastic, as Penn says at the end. Uh, we might watch it later, but there is a very big mental gymnastic. But what you need to know is it does not memorize all of those decks okay it does not and they're not all in different orders and i'm gonna prove it to you right here first we're gonna see this part here and you will need to actually memorize three or four cards one look at this line of hearts two three four five Okay, this part here. Okay, we're going to look at those cards again. Three of spades. We don't need to remember this one because we cannot see it in the other one. But remember, jack of hearts, two of diamond, and king of clubs. So let's king of clubs, two of diamond, and jack of hearts. We're going to go to another part of the video about uh, three minutes later where it takes another deck of cards and we're going to look at what happens here. Four, five, six, seven. Right here, boom, nine of hearts. Jack of hearts, two of diamond and the king of club. I'm not replaying the same part of the video and it is not a coincidence that those three cards are in the exact same order. It is not a coincidence. How does it work is all of the decks are in the same order, okay? But uh, they all start at a different uh, position. So uh, imagine that the first deck is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way to 52. And then the second deck starts at 47. So it goes 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then the third deck could start maybe at number 10. It will start at 10, 11, 12. And it will end with the last card being card number 9. So all he has to know basically is... Uh, want to, to know the order of one deck okay which it does memorize by heart the whole deck he will memorize by heart 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 the suspense is killing me that's 20 21 22 23 24 so he knows all of those deck by all of this deck by heart the only thing he needs to know now is 
the dates of which one begins with what, which is another mental gymnastic. So it is a big mental gymnastic at the end, but he has his own code knowing of which deck to take because he knows uh, of which card is in which position because they're all in the same order. I cannot know exactly what is, is uh, the code that is used for each date, but basically that's how the trick works because all of the decks are in the same order. They just don't start at the same card. Does it make sense? I hope it makes sense because that's how the trick is done. Now, can I do it? Well, maybe if I have about a month of practice, I could achieve this, but obviously not right now. I could not do it. It is a great uh, mental gymnastic. Let's hear what Penn has to say at the end. Optimism of this and we could have been doing it. And although there's so much mental stuff involved, I should tell people at home that we believe that there's no accomplice and there's no sleight of hand. You're really doing it in your head exactly, exactly as you think. So there's a lot of mental gymnastic, like he said, very impressive. That's it. That's how he does it. Have a great day. See you very soon.